Hello everyone, so today we're doing this Haley Baldwin inspired look. And to start off going right into the skin, I'm taking this new skin food foundation called Propolis In Foundation Serum or whatever. Anyway, as you can see, it's pretty cool. It has an eyedropper applicator and the formula is actually really hydrating and has fairly decent light to medium coverage so I have been loving this lately but anyway taking a few pumps and applying it mostly to my cheeks I'm taking this damp beauty blender and just blending it out and working it into my skin and as you can see it has a really nice natural and um, like illuminating coverage so I really like this for everyday makeup looks and stuff like that Next, going in with my new favorite Etude House Big Cover Cushion Concealer in the peach beige color. I'm just applying that to my under eye area on my dark circles and then a little bit around the nose where I get a tiny bit of redness. Then going back in with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend that in lightly. And then, as per usual, taking my Prime Primer by Vanilla Co., I'm just going to use this to set most of my face, but I'm actually going to leave some key areas unset. So, um, the tip of my nose to get a little bit of a glow, center-ish of my forehead I'm going to leave out also. And then I also really like to leave out the very, very center point of my chin and the outer upper portion of my cheekbones, just because I feel like it makes the skin look a lot healthier and dewy and those areas don't really tend to get oily either so it really is a great cheat for having that dewy look without um, having to commit to oily skin. Then going in with Dr. Jart's liquid contouring kit in the dark shade I am just applying a little bit to the under portion of my cheekbones just for a soft contour. Then taking the same beauty blender from before I am blending it out. Okay, next taking this Innisfree eyeshadow and a large, um, dense, fluffy brush, I'm just lightly washing that over my eyelids to give a slight wash of color without, you know, being too bold. Then taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, I am taking Sigma's small pencil brush and I am just focusing that on the outer V of my eyelid and then dragging it onto the lower lash line also. And then taking the leftover of the brush, I am slowly working it in halfway throughout my crease. Then taking Makeup Geek's Americano shade and this very flat, dense um, synthetic brush, I am just using that as my eyeliner. So I'm creating kind of a winged out look, which is different from my usual wing out looks. This is more of like going up following the lower lash line. And then I am just softly pulling it in towards the center of my eyelid and then also whatever is left over on my inner corner as well. And I'm also making sure that the top portion of this shadow liner is very blended while the lower part is quite dark. Then going in again and just putting a little bit on my lower lash line but keeping it really tight to my lower lashes. Then taking my Pony Effect contouring kit and taking the darkest shade on that same brush I used before, I'm just going to actually use that as my blending transition shade between my eyelid and the upper brow bone. Then taking the lightest highlighting shade from that kit, I'm just going to go in with a dense shadow brush or like a small, no, not a small, like a medium dense shadow brush. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and blend those colors. And then as per usual, I'm taking a bit of it and putting it on my inner corner and along the inner part of my nose bridge. Then taking Etude House's Proof 10 Auto Pencil in the dark brown shade, golden brown shade, I don't know. I'm just following that same eyeliner shape I did before, but keeping it really, really close to my upper lash line. And then I'm also going to take that and kind of focus it more of it on the outer wing. And then what I actually like to do as a cheat is just take the edge of my fingernail and just kind of pull that color so it's a bit sharper. Then I'm just going to go in and tight line and get in between the lashes, then also do my lower waterline as well. Then 
then just curling my lashes with my Majolka Majorca eyelash curler, then going in with my usual Can Make Lash Care Mascara in black, and just applying a generous amount on the upper lashes, and then once again I'm going to be going in and applying it to my lower lashes. Now for this step I'm actually going to be skipping false lashes because I noticed Haley Baldwin always wears like these very neutral and natural looks. She doesn't really rock any big fake eyelashes or eyeliners. So I'm just going to leave it at that with my natural lashes. And then going in with my usual new favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. I'm just going to fill in my brows, but this time I'm doing it quite differently. I'm actually focusing most of that product on the center of my brow to kind of create a new shape that is still similar to my natural shape, if you get what I mean. So just keeping it really thin and not building or emphasizing on the outer portions of my brow. And then just creating a few hair strokes and kind of squaring off the front. Just like that. Then going back into my contouring kit, I'm going to apply a little bit of that to the contour I did before just to deepen it a little bit, but still focusing a lot of that color on the outer portion of the cheeks just so that it is more soft and not like a harsh contour. And then taking more of that, I'm actually going to define my jaw a bit and around the like where my neck meets my jaw just because I have a super pale neck. So I just want it to be a little more sharper and defined. Okay, now for the fun part, going in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Echo Park. I'm just going to be applying this liquid lipstick to my lips. And this is kind of like a very kind of a warm brown peachy shade, if you know what I mean. And this is the only color I had that was most similar to what I see Haley Baldwin wear on her Instagram photos. So I figured I would just use this color. But I really, really like it. And then waiting for that to dry. And that is it for the look, you guys. That is my Haley Baldwin inspired makeup. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! back to my channel so for today's video I want to show you guys my makeup essentials so basically things that I wear every day or go-to items or things I would bring if I was going to stay the night at someone's house so here I only have a small amount of items because I'm gonna be honest when it's not filming or if it's just a quick going out I'm not really one to put on a ton of makeup just because I feel like it's kind of pointless especially if I'm not really going anywhere important so these are just gonna be my key essential items for days that don't really matter okay so I'm honestly just gonna hop right into it there's not really anything special about this but I'm gonna start off with base makeup because that is the most important thing to me so here I have my all-time favorite Hera UV mist cushion in N23 and this is a Korean product um, cushions are only just recently becoming introduced to North American market so you can find the L'Oreal one or the um, physicians formula one they also launched one but this one is a Korean brand one and it's kind of a luxury